Hey guys, just a quick bit of information about using Hoopla on an Android phone. You can see that I already have Hoopla open and signed into and I'm on my home page. On the home page, there are a couple of features that are important. One is the ability to access the borrowed books that you have already checked out. Two is the ability to search for something that you are interested in reading. On this page, there are some quick links in addition to the magnifying glass up at the top. The audiobooks are the thing I use most often, so I'm going to click on that audiobook button on the left-hand side. It's going to open up immediately to a page of the most popularly checked out audiobooks. I prefer, though, to search by genre, so I'm going to click that title on the left-hand side of my screen to go into genres. There are a couple different areas that are going to have the largest number of middle grade and young adult books. The first of those is children's, and the second one is teen all the way down at the bottom. So I'm gonna go into teen and it's gonna immediately pop up a page that is sorted by popularly read books. I prefer to sort by the things that have been most recently added to the app, which is by date added. That's gonna change so that my view is going to be those things that have been most recently added to Hoopla. You can choose though to sort by popularity or release date, which would be the date that that audiobook was published. Once you've sorted the way that you like it, you can go through the list and find those things that are most appealing to you. So on this page, I saw that Verify became available the last time I logged in. I favorited that by touching the heart on the left-hand side, um, and then I decided to download it. In the case of a book that hasn't already been borrowed, you'll see that there's a button that says Borrow. Once I touch that button, it's going to tell me how many days it's available once I have it, and the types of options that it has for streaming and downloading. So it'll ask me then if I'm certain. I don't actually want to borrow this one right now, so I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. Once I have a book, it'll give me the option to download it in the box underneath where the um, white starts, and it says this title is downloaded because I've already downloaded mine. It also gives me the option to return it. It gives me a description of the book if I haven't already decided if it's the right book for me, um, and then it also gives me the ability to click on the author's name to see what other books they may have by the same person if I already know that I like her. Um, in this case, I really do like Joelle Charbonneau. Um, the Testing Trilogy is really awesome. I'm excited to read Verify, um, really to listen to it. Um, and then I haven't read her Dividing Eden series yet, um, but that one is there as, as well in addition to a couple of others. So... When I'm done browsing, I can always go back to the home page and I can listen to my book. So once I'm here, if I click on resume, it's going to automatically start playing my book. I'm going to turn the volume down so hopefully you don't get too much of that instead of my voice. Um, there's a menu here as well where I can change how fast it plays back. I prefer to listen to mine a little faster than the normal speed. Um, that feels a little slow to me and so I go to 1.25. Some of you may be able to listen to 1.5. Um, whatever you do, I would say choose the speed that it allows you to process the book and really understand what's happening. You can also go forward and back in the story, and you can pause from there. I also have the Hoopla widget on my Android phone. I don't believe that this is something that's available on um, iPhones, but if you do have an Android, I really like this widget, um, which I added to my screen um, by holding down and searching the widgets. Okay, so you can search there if you want to add something. So what's nice about this is that it's just on my home screen on one of my pages and I can play my book from here instead of having to open up the Hoopla app. I have less control over it, but it does give me the ability to jump right into it instead of having to go through those steps. That's just a little bit about using Hoopla on Android. I hope it was helpful. If you have other questions, feel free to let me know.